Okay, so today we did our gallery walk, which is where all of the groups um, presented their apps and got feedback from other students. So the app is called Bot Buddy. It is a companion app that teaches um, seven years old and up how to create an NXT robot by using photos and videos. And then once it's created, it actually drives the robot so you don't have to program it. So we already have a built bot here. Um, and it connects, the phone connects with the bot through um, Bluetooth. So our app is called the Mobile Music Therapy app and so basically the idea is that it will help uh, provide daily music therapy for a user to help them achieve whatever desire that they want. And it's very simple but um, it gives the user three options to enter what their current mood is and what their desired mood is and then plays um, a sample of music. So in the long run hopefully it would be able to play a longer um, playlist of songs to help the user achieve it. Oftentimes, many of our students are consumers of technology, but they don't understand what it takes to actually produce a tool or a technology. And this class gets behind the curtain and gets behind all of the sheen on a lot of the apps that students like to use to help them understand what goes into designing those apps, what goes into implementing those apps, what goes into making apps that users actually want to use. Um, so a large part of the course is really about design and getting feedback from the user to make an app better. Some people actually program the Android SDK directly using Eclipse. Some um, actually programmed the iPhone um, operating system. And so, you know, they were able to branch out, but everybody was able to be successful. Okay, um, so the app itself is called Wings. Um, I say this is our actual logo. Um, so the purpose of the app is we want to address a specific problem. Um, we want to address a desire for more easily accessible branding systems, uh, particularly for maps and places on a map, uh, such as Google Maps, restaurants, and stuff of that nature. Um, the key point of ours is that we use emotions actually to rate on a scale from basically a link, which would be the highest, to uh, smiley faces, um, a stale face is just not emotion, uh, anger, and as well as sadness. Uh, well, kind of has um, first idea to use, because you know emoticons are like really popular now within texting. I kind of had that idea, rather than just, you know, the simple form of, you know, using stars to rate things, because it's, it's really arbitrary and vague to see how you really feel about something. And so, the, you know, like John said, to quantify, we kind of just came together and John added on to some things and then we had the the designer is here to kind of make the faces and then Courtney had his marketing scheme and strategies as well and so we kind of just worked together uh, after you know the first idea was what surprised me most was the, in, the enthusiasm. I mean, I thought that there would be some enthusiasm, but I just didn't think it would be this much enthusiasm. Um, the ideas were really lofty, um, very complex, very complicated, and the students stuck with it to make sure that, you know, the apps did what they wanted to do and had the kind of functionality that they wanted them to have. And we also in this class talked about ethics, too, um, in the use of technology, in the development of technology. We explored a lot of those um, issues around on technology and its place in the world today and so they they began thinking a lot about that in the terms of the decisions that they were making in their designs which I also thought was really really powerful. Okay so our app is entitled the um, Alzheimer's Mobile Therapy Application also known as the App Project and it's basically supposed to um, be a tool for non-professional caregivers of Alzheimer's patients to help them get more advice about the disease. Um, I started this research last summer because my grandmother, she passed away from Alzheimer's last summer. And so I was like, okay, why not make a mobile application that can um, that can help caregivers? Because I saw how my family was struggling. When we were doing the user testing, we figured out that um, we not only need a web version, but we'll also need a text version because not all um, caregivers have internet have access. internet access where they are. So we'll do the text version, and then you have three three different categories. What is Alzheimer's? The ten signs of Alzheimer's and the stages. So we can just click um, the ten signs just to show you what it looks like. The next step will be the actual launching of the app. 
A few groups want to tweak their apps a little bit, but basically they'll be packaging their apps for the phones, and they'll be either using App Inventor for the Android platform, or they'll be using um, the iOS for the Apple platform, uh, the Apple iPhone, and they'll be actually launching their apps into the marketplace um, once they've made the tweaks and done what they need to do. Many of them have other features they want to build in before they start charging, and so they're going to release a free version, and then once they get more development done, then they'll they'll charge you know a nominal fee for their apps. So I think this is an excellent opportunity for them to learn about entrepreneurship and technology entrepreneurship in particular. So I'm really excited. I'm so proud of them and so impressed with all of their ideas and the level of work that they put into those apps. Um, I will be starting my career at IBM as a consultant. Um, I'll be working with JP Morgan in New York as an application developer. And I'll be working with Boeing in their IT rotational program, working on infrastructure, application development, and information security.